Hey everybody, it's Rob Lawrence here. In this video, we're gonna get into what happened to property taxes in Delaware County over the past two years when they did this huge reassessment, why they did this reassessment, and how Rich, who owns 40 properties in Delaware County, saved over $30,000 and didn't have to spend a dime out of his own pocket to do it using the appeal process. So this video is gonna be hugely valuable to both investors and homeowners in Delaware County. So check it out, stay through it with the end. There's a lot of information explaining how taxes work in Delaware County and really everywhere. <laughs> and how Rich really crushed it with taking advantage of the reassessment instead of being a victim of it. All right, let's get into it. Hey Rich man, how you doing? Hey Rob. Good to be back. What's going on, man? I get a lot of questions about Delaware County taxes, which we all know aren't that low. <laughs> but two years ago, did they double the taxes in Delaware County? No, they did a reassessment of the entire county. And it started with a couple of property owners that built some new houses in the county. And the county slapped a current market value on the assessment when the current assessment at the time hadn't been redone since the late 90s. They were getting taxed at a much higher rate than any of their neighbors. They sued the county and it went to the state court and the court mandated the county to reassess the entire county. Oopsies. Um, yeah, right. To update <laughs> the county everything. probably really wishes they just assessed that guy a little less. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, they were paying probably double the property taxes than a neighbor two doors down. It was really an unfair system. And in that amount of time between the late the late 90s and I guess it was 2018 when that case finally was heard, somewhere in that range, the property values went up at different rates across the county. So wow. places like Media, Ardmore, some of these higher end neighborhoods were going up at a much faster rate than places like Darby Borough. People in some of those lower county, lower valued counties were paying a much higher rate as a percentage of their property value. So it, it needed to be fixed. What happened was everybody's, you know, everyone's assessment went up all at once and everyone freaked out. They said, and my, my assessment went up by a hundred percent or my tax is going up a hundred percent. And the answer is no. The way that your tax bill is calculated comes from a calculation between the assessed value on your property and the millage rate that the taxing body places on real estate. You might have like an assessed value and then you're going to multiply that by something to get your taxes. So if you're like 200,000 and you multiply it by 0 0.01 millage rate, you're going to be paying, you know, $2,000 a year in taxes. Correct. The millage rate is based on the total assessed value of that taxing body. So let's use Delaware County as an, as an example. This also happens at the school district and municipality level, but let's use the, the county. Um, so they take the total value, then they take the budget that the county set for the year, how much of that is being appropriated from real estate taxes, and then they set the millage rate based on that number. What has to happen is if your taxes are actually going to go up outside of a millage rate, that taxing body needs to pass a higher budget. So okay. all else being equal, if your tax rate or if your assessment went up by 100%, the, um, the millage rate has to come down by the proportionate amount so that your tax bill stays the same. So if I was at 100,000 multiplied by 0 0.02 or 2%, then um, now I change to being 200,000 multiplied by 1% and I get $2,000 at the end of the day, either way. Exactly, exactly. Right. Now that's on an average. So across the entire taxing body, that makes sense. Where it changes is, did your rate go up by 150% or did it go up by 75% or 50%? Right. That's when your tax bill starts to change. I, I, know, I know my mom's house in Garnet Valley actually went down from like 9,500 to 8,000, which 9,500 is like a ridiculous amount on our townhouse, <laughs> yep. but welcome to Garnet Valley. Um, but it actually did go down a little bit, which was really nice. Um, and I know like I was actually selling her house as that school bill was coming out and everybody was trying to calculate all this stuff. There was a lot of panic in the streets, I think, when they were doing this and everybody was confused, you yeah. know? And I still see things in like realer.com or Zillow where they're miscalculating the taxes. So if you're looking at a house and you see that the taxes doubled from one year to the next, 
a lot of times that's like a mistake that they're like not multiplying correctly, I think, or something like that. Yeah. So something to check with your realtor, your realtor should understand this at least at a base level where they can go and check <laughs> what is the actual amount, right? Cause the MLS is taking actual public data from the counties, the schools, the, um, the municipalities in order to calculate those rates. Yeah. Um, you know, some of the, some of the feed systems are using dated data. Um, so they may be using an old millage rate or an old something. Um, yeah. but the MLS has people that are their, their whole job is to curate that data. Sounds like a party to me. <laughs> hours and hours of fun, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can always just, you know, call me up and I'll, I'll, I'll try to help you. So I know you have a lot of properties in Delaware County. So when this happened to you, did you have to like fight any of them? Were any of them like outrageous or wrong? Yeah. So I actually fought all of mine um, because- <laughs> that, and, that, that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> yeah. And it was just, it was easy, an easy thing to do relatively. Um, so there are attorneys out there that specialize in this. And mm -hmm. I have one that um, just charged me a commission to do it. And he has a calculation that he knows. Um, I don't know how it works, but he has a calculation that tells him whether or not it's going to be worth it to try and fight it. Um, and I think all but one, maybe two of mine came up as worth fighting. So how many um, did you have like 40 ish or something? Or At the time it was about 40. Yeah. Wow. Um, so one or two of them didn't meet that criteria. So, you know, I, I hired this guy to go and um, appeal the taxes is what it's called. Um, so he filled out an appeal form and he did have to go to a hearing. I didn't, I didn't have to go, but he went to a hearing with the, uh, assessing board and we had to get some appraisals done. It cost some money up front, but he ended up saving me something like $30,000 a year, um, wow. just by Across doing 40 that property. So yeah, probably close to a thousand dollars of property, like 800 yeah. property, something like that. Yeah. So it was, it was definitely beneficial to do that. Um, so if you're looking at buying a property and even before the reassessment, I was finding that I could go and do that on most of my properties and win that appeal for at least a 10 to 15% savings, sometimes more. Hmm. Um, so if you're looking at property in Delaware County, especially if you're going to homestead. So if you're using it as an owner occupied property, uh, there are even some better advantages there, um, where you can go to an attorney like this and they can help you appeal the tax rate and hopefully see a, a decent savings there. I have a feeling if people watch this video, your attorney might be very busy. <laughs> yep. I, I, I know you said to me that the attorney will work like on a percentage of the property taxes that they save you. So yep. they don't even cost you money really up front. You say, except for some appraisals and things. Yeah. So in my case, we decided to get some appraisals. And since we did a bunch of them at the same time, it was a little bit cheaper. Mm -hmm. Um, but, uh, we did, we did a bunch of appraisals, um, and he didn't charge me anything until he won the appeal and he charged me half of the first year savings. So if one property costs, or if he was able to save me a thousand dollars a year on one property, he only cost me 500 bucks on that property across the whole portfolio. It did, it did really well for me. Yeah. Um, I only have to pay that. He made a nice check too. So that's nice. Exactly. Everybody, yeah. Everybody, everybody wins. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> cool, man. That's awesome. This is extremely valuable information for people that live in Delaware County, because we know the taxes there are not lightweight. Right. Right. <laughs> Especially some of the taxes I see, like investors talk to me, oh, you know, I want to buy a place in Drexel Hill. I'm like, please look at the taxes and put that into your calculation and make sure you still, <laughs> yeah. you know, cash flow because I mean, you know, they're sometimes shockingly high in some places. And I wonder to myself, like, man, I wonder on appeal what that would end up being. So it's pretty yeah. good to know. And I mean, this can save a person thousand dollars a year. I mean, that's, that's amazing. And that's big money in, you know, uh, even if it's only one property, a thousand bucks a year is, is a lot of money. That's in a lot of cases, a full mortgage payment. Um, True. so, you know, that's, uh, it's not small potatoes, even for uh, us big ballers. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't know if I'd say that, but yeah, um, <laughs> you know, it, uh, it's not nothing and it's valuable to do it. Um, I've actually gotten to the point where I'm underwriting properties in Delaware County with that, somewhere between 10 and 20% tax savings um, after I go and do that in the first year. That's a huge um, advantage to an investor because every other investor is running their numbers 
thinking that their property taxes are fixed and not yeah. really even thinking about potentially appealing them. Right. Um, I mean, you have that level of experience just know, okay, like my chances are like 39 out of 40 that I'm <laughs> going to get some appeal. And maybe you have some, you know, instinct or feel from all the properties that you've done and seeing where you got reassessed. So that's kind of a cool um, thing. Yeah. Well, Rich, I've been taking up a lot of your time, my man, but I, what, what is your, uh, what does your company do? So we're a project management company. Um, we work exclusively with real estate investors to help them manage their flips and rental properties um, when they purchase them or need to do a major renovation. That's awesome, man. It's a great resource for investors. I, I recommend you to so many of my investor clients. Um, I appreciate I know that. You, yeah. yeah, man, you did a great job for, um, for my one client in, uh, what was that, Havertown? Yep. Um, yeah, that came out, that flip came out really nice. And, uh, you do, you guys do do quality work. So, you know, what you're doing, you've flipped so many of your own houses. So it's so cool. Like that, you, you know, rich, rich is like the king of Burr, but like, <laughs> um, you know, if, if, if people know what that is, but anyway, he's renovated a lot of property. So it's kind of nice that you've done it so much for yourself. You kind of know really what to do for an investor and yep. really how to help them. Well, rich, yeah, thank yeah. you so much, man, for joining me. Um, I uh, appreciate you explaining all this. And it's really cool to hear your stories of how you've saved $30,000 on your properties just by yeah. understanding the system. Yeah. And I hope, I hope this is helpful for your viewers, your clients. Um, yeah. And just because this is a video about Delaware County specifically doesn't mean that a lot of these concepts don't apply elsewhere. Um, you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully people are interested in that. Hmm. Should I, should I appeal my house? Yeah. Hey, <laughs> I'm, Chester a, County. I'm afraid to appeal my house. I, they're going to reassess me higher. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> all, all this stuff I did to it. <laughs> yep. Yeah. All right, Rich. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, man. You have a great day. Awesome. Take care, Rob.